Hello everyone, it's me Andrea and I'm here today with an art journal page that's my entry for France Papillon's uh, competition it's about her uh, 100 page art and journal um, anniversary and I'm working here in my travel journal because normally I much prefer to work on loose pages and I think at the moment that's my only book in use so I use that one and uh, there's already some paint on it for from um, stencil I, I cleaned on that so and um, partially I cover it with uh, modeling paste and make some um, pattern in it with a comb and this is a it's not a brush it has a sturdy tip as you can see here you can make pattern in um, modeling paste and I go over it with gesso and don't ask me why it wouldn't be necessary because there will be a lot of paint on top afterwards so and it was gessoed on um, anyway so okay done that it's a habit I think this is a plastic mesh um, it's used for drywall work I think as well but it's not adhesive like the other stuff the small one and um, I wanted to get rid of that blue uh, color of course and I cover it twice with gesso to get a nice coverage and on top of that I put some Amsterdam paint acrylic paint it's future and I have um, put on two layers as well and that covered it really well and it it, it will last on that so it's not um, you can't remove it easily as you could do normally on when you when you paint on plastic not that it, it's really good it will stay really good really can't see it here but at the end as usual you will see some still photos so where well, you can see that much better and here I will show you all the paint all the colors I'm using most of them are from Amsterdam apart from this um, little ones it's very cheap paint that's absolutely cheap paint and um, this paint I have for ages this blue color it's Prussian Prussian blue do you know, need, call that Prussian yeah I think so it's a really really dark blue and it looks so so dark now but when you when you will see I will lift it up a bit afterwards and what really is revealing then it's a absolutely beautiful blue tone I really love that I had that for ages and never never used it because I thought it's too dark and then I started to work it with it shortly not long ago two weeks ago or so because I needed a blue dark and I thought, oh, what a fantastic color is that? And um, here that's a normal piece of paper. I lift some of the wet paint. And look at that blue underneath. Isn't that beautiful? So the next one is actually ultramarine blue. It's not purple. It looks here like purple, but it's not. Believe me. And you will see that afterwards. So, um... I go over that page uh, on the bottom half and lift it again with my paper. I will use that actually some afterwards. Really fantastic pattern on that. And uh, then I go over with a dry kitchen paper. And after that I use baby wipes. A bit of drying that's not that I won't lift everything off and um, go over it with this wet baby wipe and then after drying that I use this turquoise blue that's what it called turquoise blue and uh, use it in the same way I put it on lift it with the paper first and on both sides and go over with first with the dry uh, kitchen uh, paper and uh, afterwards I use a baby wipe to remove some of it to reveal what's under it so and uh, I always dry it in between so you can already see the structure and you can reveal that really good when you use the baby wipe and, and remove some of the paint that I really like this effect you know that I work a lot with that and this turquoise green actually 
and um, I use in the same way. Lift it up with some paper, dry kitchen towel, and then with a wet baby towel, look baby wipe. So that's all. Dry it in between a bit. It depends on the paint you have if you need to dry it or not. Actually, with the gold and acrylic, with the fluids, you don't need to. When you dry that, you wouldn't be able to remove it. So you have to experiment with all the paint you have. So in here in the middle, I that's white, I think. Is it white or light blue? I can't, it's light blue. It's a baby blue. Or, or yeah, baby blue, I think it calls. Put it on. It looks white, but it's um, blue. And the same way, lift it up. Dry cloth, wet cloth, and um, yeah, I I try to get this really distressed look, and this is white. I will. Uh, I wanted to lighten the whole page a bit up, but I wanted to have a dark one um, anyway. So you will see at the end why. And I wanted to have a bit of a night scene, you know. But. Uh, not not in black, def uh, definitely not. That's why I used this dark uh, blue paint. Again with dry one, and then a bit of drying, and with a baby wipe. And I think that's it. And now I try to find out where I want to position the the mesh, this plastic mesh. And now I use this Lumiere in blue to define the structure on the page a bit. That works great with this Lumiere paint. I really, really like this paint. It's so beautiful and so rich and so shiny. And that's um, the, the silk paint in the glaze, silk glaze in jade, I think it is. I only put that um, into the corners where the mesh will go, that it peeks through. Shouldn't I, I didn't want to have it um, that dominant, but so and that's what I want to put into the, um, into the middle of that page. That is uh, um, that was a bird print. And I fussy cut that all, so congratulations, Andrea. And um, they should. Of course, sit afterwards again on a wire next to each other, and I put, as you can see, I put that down already with Mod Podge, and but then I thought, hmm, no, and put it off again. I had to be very careful; that stuff dries so quick, but I could manage it, and um, thought I would have a more dimensional. And I want, of course, first of all, I wanted to have a bit of white into the background that you can. Um, see the uh, the birds or that the birds pop better or pop more and then I thought I would like to have the wire where the birds are sitting on a bit more dimensional instead of uh, um, drawing it down simply so first I uh, attach the the mesh I've done that with with uh, gel medium soft gel medium that works really good on that and um, it stays, won't peel off. So, and now I, second try, I try it again. And didn't show, no, I didn't show where I try this wire I wanted to use, but you will see it afterwards anyway. Um, I replaced, you can see that little bird on the right, that's the bird really would cover the the wire and uh, that's why I use it at the very last. Here I have, um, it's a fabric stuff, I don't really know what that is actually and uh, it's made from wood but very very thin and I turned it and turned it and had a little uh, thread, like a th thicker thread and this bird um, was it was it's normal copy paper I had it on so um, I put it on cardstock 
and uh, that it was more um, or that it was dirtier because I knew I would it would uh, overlap this wire and so that had to be a bit um, sturdier, a bit uh, more stable. So here you can see I simply glue it down and uh, the little bird this one gives I, I gave it a 3D foam pad to make it even more dimensional and that worked. So now I here try to scribble the claws on that wire but you can't really see that I will uh, go over it again afterwards with uh, with a Posca that's darker and um, you can see it better but now first I go around um, the birds with a Dervant intense pencil in grey charcoal it is I think and with a watercolor brush or water brush so a water tank brush you call it yeah water tank brush and uh, to define them more and make them more pop that will won't be the only thing we'll do a bit of other stuff around that afterwards and here I um, colorize them a bit a bit of blue on their chests and a bit of burnt orange same with the Sturvent Inkland pencils not um, I didn't want to have them very very colorful and I think that's it with colorizing yeah, I didn't do a lot more so next step yeah, because I um, went over all this um, white or lighter areas with the, the pencils I use um, a sharpie to get them lighter again only to highlight them again so and that's my sentiment actually I stamped it with my typewriter letter stamps letter stamp set and it says Face, faith is the bird that feels the light and sings when the dawn is still dark and that's why the background of this page is uh, kept very dark. I use here um, old paper distress ink and at the edges I use um, yep, something darker, distress ink. And um, now I assemble it and a bit of water, it gets a bit of water treatment of course that it looks a bit uh, more distressed okay now I try to find out where to put it um, I didn't I don't I don't really show you all the uh, positions I've tried it at the end I decided to have them on the lower and upper uh, left and right corner because of the wire or the mesh this plastic mesh it, it has a natural frame in so and um, this frames it on that side so that's why I put it there and I used this Eileen's tacky glue for it so and now sorry about that I forgot to switch the camera on again when I started again and I will show you what I did I um, um, outlined here the the, the words and um, Put a bit of sketchy lines on the um, on the let on the words, and here right and left this bows metal bows, and I went around the birds with a white oil pastel. I wanted to highlight them even more, so that's what I did. That's what you didn't see. And now I'm back to the claws of the birds, and much more visible now with a posca. Could hardly see it before. And of course I frame, I thought it's dark enough but I thought no, frame it with a bit of archival, black archival and that has done the job. And the next thing is, what did I do? Can't really remember, sorry. 
was only yesterday that I made this page. Ah, yeah, I went around the, the birds again here and there because of the white uh, oil pastel. Um, it was smudging over the, the black uh, edges, ah, over with my Stabilo all around. And that's all. And uh, here I will show you a little overview over the page. And at the end, of course, you will see some photos. You can see it much better there. But that's it. So I hope you like it. And I thank you a lot for watching. And I will definitely see you with the next page. Have a lot of fun. See you soon, guys. Bye-bye.